So, what do you want to start with? What about the pool of blood in the stall? You're not going to believe this. The blood wasn't from the victim, it was from the killer. What was he doing bleeding in the stall? I have absolutely Why no idea. Why is she, idea. like, all over him? Were there She's any like prints on the book that was under the table? Yep, and they matched the ones on the fork and the glass. So it was definitely his book. It looked like a fairly old book. Maybe we can get some more stuff out of it. Did you get the list of calls that came through the telephone at the restaurant? Yep. There were about a dozen in the four hours that preceded the murder. I'll send you a list by email. Email. What did you find on the knife? Got some good prints off it. They matched those found on the fork and glass at the suspect's table. So, the murderer was definitely at that table. Anything on the blade? I'm getting to that. We definitely had blood from the victim, but the weird thing is we also found blood from the killer. Did you find anything on the coffee cup? How the do you know it's the only prints we found belonged to the waitress. That's impossible, man. That cup was half empty. Somebody must have drank it. So, what do you think about all that? I don't have any explanation for the blood in the stall. The victim could have wounded the killer during a struggle, but it doesn't make sense that it would be in the stall. It's as though the killer wounded himself. <laughs> That's oh, it's probably not? on the knife. You get clumsy fools in every other profession. No, but... Why not killers? That's kind of a flimsy explanation, Garrett. Uh, to each his own, Carla. I do the testing, you figure out the reason why. Thanks for your help, Garrett. See you later. The thing I would have put together from the evidence so, that they got... what do we do now? Like, the evidence that they got without <clears throat> knowing what happened is that if there were two different bloods on the knife and there was blood in the stall, I would assume there was a second victim that was in the if stall. If the blood is on the handle of the knife, Well, though, I just thought... What I would that, think. That's yeah. what I would think. Like, if there was two different blood, types of blood on the knife and there was blood in the stall, I would assume there was a second victim, not that the killer cut himself, you know? Mm -hmm. You go take care of the composite. I'm going to go check with the coroner and see if he got anything from the body. Okay. Catch you later. Before I go see the coroner, I'm just going to drop by my desk and check my email. Okay. Oh, <laughs> where are we? Where's our office? She's got to, nope, she's got to go read her email, so it's... That's in her office, right? Yep. Hi, Frank. Hey, Carla. Sleep well? Sleep's a waste of time. I'll have plenty of time to sleep when I'm dead. That's our Carla. Oh, we have a little basketball hoop in our office. Uh, futuristic keyboard! Email. Valium? Oh, <laughs> it's a spam email. From Tommy, subject, hi. Hi Carla, I'm sorry I wasn't able to give you any news for a while. I've been very busy with my job. I'll drop by your place as soon as I can as I can to tell you about my latest adventures. Lots of kisses, Tommy. No it's title. all happened before. Kirsten, what's that supposed to mean? Mm, New York crime. Da, da, da. Crime rates, press conference, blah blah, elections. Snow, Pakistan. Oh, who do you want to be now? Mm. I don't know. Who do you want to be? Lucas seems to have a bunch of weird shit happen to him, but here's a dead body, I think. Uh. Mortuary, I guess? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we can look at the body. Mesa and Joe's bank at 3 a.m. Why are you there? What? What's going on? I'm having a hard time choosing. Uh, let's let's go to Lucas. <coughs> Why are you at the yeah. bank at 3 a.m. throwing up? It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Oh, it says a.m. <coughs> no, it just or said p.m. at the bottom of the oh. screen. 
That's why I was confused. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Okay. You should murder somebody. Oh, look. There's a thing there. Yay, bonus of something. Bonus soda. Bonus possession. <laughs> He's so relaxed considering that he's murdered somebody. I know. <coughs> I guess we should go and try and do stuff. Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't oh, raise any suspicions. Work. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. How do we know which desk is ours? This is a really nice cubicle area. Like, I know it's cubicles and it sucks, but... What's this? <gasps> what?! I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones bank. I share my office with Warren. Wow. He's also in charge of the maintenance. Do you know what time it like? is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. Get ready for what? Get ready. What? What am I? I don't you're, understand you're what that is. You're supposed to press the buttons. I know, but it like. I don't understand what that means. It corresponds to the. I know, but. Oh. oh. I got more lives. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I don't understand, like, it keeps saying, get ready, and then you failed, so we never even know what we're failing. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Who are you? I should yes. be back home around <laughs> 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. <laughs> oh, I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing. Bye. Okay. Uh oh, okay. I did it. Failed. Ah, I thought I did it. What am I trying to do? I, I'm not sure, like, <laughs> what the... Just with David Kitch and Lil Motion. It's like a Simon Says game. <laughs> I thought I did, oh. though. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I stopped. I didn't. I couldn't stop Lucas? myself from being bad. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. So... Man, that's a really nice office for... IT. I know. I think the whole floor is IT, though. But I mean, they ha that's kind of weird that they would have their server room, like, right next to the outside of the building. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure. I think all these people are working on IT, on the bank's IT, see? Yeah. And that they're in charge of, like, all of the IT. They're the most IT. They're the <laughs> most IT. Oh, Whoa. God! Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> What? Giant, giant tick. It was a giant flea. Ew. That's what a flea looks like when you uh, put them under one of those uh, super microscopes. What's the What's the name of the, like the microscope that's like nanoscope or something? Something like that. Where they like hit it with atoms or something. <laughs> oh no, it's a flea! <laughs> oh, they're everywhere! Oh no, you just have crabs, dude. <laughs> just has a serious case of crabs. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Move? Move. Oh. Okay. I'm getting better at this. Yeah. I guess I was just confused and panicking. You know how you when you panic? Oh dear. Ah! Oh, you mean like my entire under ah! stream? Ah! Ah! Yeah, when you just panic. When I panicked and started accidentally killing all the people I wanted to save. Watching us on security cameras right now, going, What the fuck? I wonder if they can see. Hold on, I can't talk. Oops. I don't know. Like, are these. Can, uh, can other people see them? Because that one. Ugh, shit. Ugh, ugh. See, that one guy's getting eaten by them, so I, it's like. I'm pretty clear that this is all who is. <laughs> and this person's gonna be like, I guess. Two okay. faces of the same serpent. One Whoa. in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he sees both sides of the snake. Okay. No. No, I have crabs. Lucas? Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you alright? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I uh I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. If I was his co-worker, I would do an intervention. You know? Yeah. If I would- hold on, I need to unplug this. Like, I would definitely stage an intervention for him. Be like, hey, buddy! Are you okay? Because you seem to not be okay. Who do you want to be? Uh, let's do Tyler. Come in. H hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Uh, thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Uh, please, take a seat. Now, we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, oh Mrs. Morrison? Oh my god. No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. So I assume we're gonna try to make this look like Lucas. Try to start with the eyes. That's probably it, right? Oh. oh.
That's, yeah. that's close. I think that's, yeah. To get rid of the facial hair. Yeah. Well, that's him. Yo, the evil that's mustache. That's definitely. the guy. He's evil. Yep. <laughs> okay, we gotta change the hair and the lips. He's got big lips, right? Like, voluptuous lips? I, you know, I don't remember at all. That's his... I don't think that's his face shape. Whoa. That's his hairish, right? No, I think his hair all goes back. Like that? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Maybe? That's definitely his eyebrows, yeah. but let's look at the other options. That's close to... You're changing the nose. What? Yeah, it changes the eyebrows and the nose. And the some... nose? Yeah, I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure his. What are these lips? I don't know. I think that's... Yeah, let's go with that one. You like that? Yeah, kinda. I think this is the closest one. I think I think his face is narrower at the bottom, though. Like, is it that? I felt like his face was really round, like like this. Okay. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yeah, sure. Yes, at least th that's how I remember him. Thank you very much yeah. for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. Honestly, he does need to be caught. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it's not like we can root for this guy. He's clearly a danger to everyone around him. <coughs> He's like, I didn't do it, but you did. But you, whatever it is that's going on with you, <laughs> you need to be helped. Yeah, I mean... Demon possession or not, you do need to. Yeah, even if he hadn't killed somebody, you know, it's still clear that he needs help of okay, some sort. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, awesome. If you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you She's wish. like, I've watched a lot of CSI. <laughs> Where's your holographic interface? <laughs> uh, apparent hematoma on the body. Oh, Two great. broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murderer until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. A uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in um, both pupils. I'm kind of into this. Why are his cool. pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Was he turned on? That's what Three happens knife when you're. wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade is just driven in deep. Staring up at the ceiling where the lights are. The stabs seem to have been delivered from Dilated the front. Dilated means they're up. From left I mean, to open. Right. Mm. That's right. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. Oh, you really didn't have Do your chance. pupils dilate when you're scared? The blade slipped Maybe. right through the ribs to cut the arteries. I think so. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this map. Well, okay. Uh, but that's Obviously. like... Obviously. Okay. It was definitely <laughs> You're killing the knife someone. that caused his death. Yeah, the three arteries leading to the heart were cut. Uh, the heart was literally uh, disconnected from the rest of the body. This guy's clearly evil I, of I some saw sort. Like this once before. Uh -huh. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. 
Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. But I'm sure as hell gonna find out. <sighs> Isn't that something really bizarre? You don't say that unless you're in a movie. What? Not yet, but I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Because then he would be like, I what are you empty. talking about? <laughs> After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally no. exhausted that I can't fall asleep. Stacy, if you see shit like that, please have. tell me. Mm -hmm. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Yeah, hallucinating, not fun. Do you ever hallucinate a giant tick? No, but I used to hallucinate a black cat that would follow me around. Was it very vivid? Yes. Like, I would always see it. Like, oh my god. It was just not on a any drugs, by the way. A man drove directly frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who had tumbled in by accident. The young boy was successfully resuscitated and will completely recover. His courageous rescuer disappeared. Was the cat cool? Was it a cool cat? No, it was just like really creepy. It was, um, I would see it in the place of regular objects. So like if there was like a little garbage can on the floor. Mm-hmm. Like, Cause I saw it while I was at work, which made no sense. This was like many years ago, um, before I like was on a stable medication regimen. Well, you thought it was normal, didn't you? I did. It's not normal to hallucinate. You should tell somebody if you're hallucinating. Yeah. But no, I totally get why you think that's normal. Because if it's like your whole life, you're like, oh. You yeah. know when, when you see a black cat instead of a, a Instead of a trash can. Instead of yeah. a trash can. Yeah. But it's not. It's, it's trash can. I get it. All sorts of things. Like, yeah. And I mean, which is why I understand when other people... It's like they may not immediately seek help because if that's all you know, then you don't realize that some of the things that you're going through are like, you you can fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah, recently I went to a specialist for OCD, which I didn't know they were a specialist for OCD. So they were asking me all these questions and I was like, yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do that. And they're like, that's obsessive compulsive disorder. I was like, oh, that's not normal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> like... It, it's not normal to do these things that are definitely, like, because you do it your whole life, and your whole life is that, so you're just like, oh, this is like, yeah, you don't even question it. So if you feel like you're unhappy or whatever, you know, it's not normal. Yeah. But oh, not saying that not being normal is, is bad. I'm just yeah. saying, like, you know. Something interesting, though, is that <coughs> even now, like, with, like, st stable medication and all that stuff, still, I still get, like, auditory hallucinations. Like, if somebody turns on a fan or some type of, like, white noise generator. You know, that I, happened to me when I was on Geodon, and I was like... Yeah, I like, making... I hear voices in music. It's I, very strange. I used to hear people calling my name. I don't do that. It doesn't happen to me anymore. <laughs> That's a little worrisome. <laughs> no, it used to happen all the time. I would hear someone call my name, and I, but like that person who I heard them call my name is wasn't home. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know that was like. Oh man. Is that our hint that we should go to bed? I guess should we take our clothes off or just get in bed? I don't know. Maybe we have to, like, do we have to go over to the closet to put our clothes away? Go to bed. You don't need drugs. Nope, just flop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how people sleep. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, with, with your sneakers on. And everything. Mm-hmm. I sleep now. 